Hello, my beautiful people. It is Sherry Moulton back with another video. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Um, I'm hoping to get this video up for Friday, so hopefully that'll work. Um, hope you enjoyed the um, Sunday's bling bling. Oh my goodness, I finally, <laughs> I'm glad you got to see it because I quite enjoyed making that, the sunflowers. So um, yeah, there might be one coming up soon with different colors because I think that would be very cool as well. So while I was at my trailer, I got some molds. So these are Mandela coasters and a tray. So today we're gonna do coasters and I'm um, gonna paint them with my 24, this one is Sorry guys, 18 karat gold leafing pen from Krylon. And, but we're gonna go through that when I bring you down. Also, today's Friday, hopefully this is going up Friday. I'm gonna do, this is the bling bling, or the, the Dutch pour. And it actually is gorgeous. The colors are beautiful. And a lot of people were saying it was too sparse. That I don't mind, but I think this is going to be Sunday's video. We're going to add stuff to it. So hopefully that's something to look forward to. And yeah, I think, oh, I got my other, I now have my complete set that came in the mail as well. And I was at, it's so funny. I went to the dollar store to get, um, I can still buy puppy pads and I can still buy tape. There's a few things. I can't buy foam brushes, but I can buy makeup containers. That makes absolutely no sense. But I've seen these in there before. I wasn't sure. It's for lipsticks. It fits my pinata bottles. Perfect. And the funny thing is, I'm short one. I bought two sets and there's one extra. <laughs> he can sit there. But I thought that was cool. So you can see your colors, um, they're organized instead of it being thrown in a tub, which is how I had mine. So, and also one more thing before we get going. Oh, that's off. Um, I hope you like my sign. So I am looking for ideas, guys. I'm gonna do a video on it. So I know 100% my name is gonna be Glitter to another 100% this background is going to be resin. So whether I do, I've had a, the one comment was really, really, I'm interested. Do peacock colors like my hair for the resin and then straight, I will paint the numbers black, my letters black, and I will do glitter on it. And I'm thinking I might do that shifting seas, which is that beautiful, um, the blue green from Laura's art corner. So I'm thinking, so if you have any other suggestions, Throw them in the description box and yeah, help me, please figure it out. So with that, I'll be right back. I'm gonna bring you down. We're gonna start painting some of these coasters and um, we're gonna get to business. Be right back. Hello, we are back. Now, this is the mold. It is got, I don't know if you can see, but you can definitely see once I've painted it. All I did was take my my paint brush or paint pen and just I made sure it was straight up and down and you want to make sure you don't get in between the lines but I think that's cool. I was going to try and do it. I'm just going to move these out of the way so you can I can bring this up closer so you can see. I was going to do it with the pigment powder like I did with my um the feather, but this is so detailed, it would be everywhere, so you wouldn't get that effect. So I thought I would do it this way. Um, I've also seen videos where people have, after they've resined it, they've come back and painted it with acrylic paint and then did a clear coat on top. Uh, to me, that's another step that I don't wanna do. You get, Then you worry about, you gotta, put a second coat on, then you gotta make sure the back's good. So to me, I'm gonna try this and you're gonna come with me and see if it works. So I prepped it already. 
you just press down, make sure the paint is going. This one is a chiseled edge, so I'm trying to keep it straight up and down. And along the corners here where the, I've gone out a little bit. So you gotta really take your time. That's why with my hand being bummed, it's hard for me to hold things. Like I can hardly sign my name. So oh, I see something it's on the back. Okay. So with that, here we go. I don't know, do you need to be a little bit closer? Straight up and down. And I've got really bad eyes as well. I'm gonna bring you in. Might need to come in a little bit here. Let's see what we can do. Oh, oh good, so I can bring it closer to me. Okay, so what I was doing, I went all around the edge lightly. Look, see I went off already. straight up and down and then once you get the edges done the rest is pretty easy you can use any paint it doesn't have to be the gold shoot that went off so then all I did was just kind of go over and it's pretty easy. You want to make sure you get all of it. Now in this pattern, there is that little wee dot there. I'm pointing in the right spot, right there. So just make sure when you get that, you're not making the, um, putting the paint all over it because it's, hard on that little spot is what I found. Again, these are from Amazon. I will try to remember to put them in the shop. Sorry guys. There we go. And this is pretty easy. This to me is easier than doing the second coat. I would love to have done it with that gold pigment powder that I got from Laura's Art Corner, but I think it would have been too messy. And yeah, so I'm excited. So when I do these, I'm going to do two different colors. I'm going to do two of them with that Kelly green that I got from Laura's Art Corner, the pigment paste. Pretty sure it was Kelly Green. Oh, Lucky Green. And then the other one I'm gonna use, it's the new purple I got. And I'm gonna put a little glitter in them, of course. What would it be without glitter? Oh my goodness, I just went out in there. That's why I thought I would do it off camera, most of them, just so that you get the idea, because one, I don't want you to have another long video this week. I can't believe it was a two hour and 18 minute video. I said to my daughter, I'm making full fledged movies. Like craziness. But I like, again, I've said many times, I enjoy showing you, oh, I went off again. I enjoy showing you everything. Because to me, it's like, yes, it's nice, you know, when you fast forward and it, oh my gosh, it's only a five minute video. But to me, you're not learning anything. So this way you get all of it and you can choose to fast forward if you desire. Almost. Oh, you're still in there. Good. I keep pulling it. I'm not sure which. And again, like I said, um, first time doing them. I'm not overly worried if I have a little bit of a, a mess here and there because I know someone that'll take them. There we go. We are 
almost done guys and then when you're done take a look and see if you've got the odd spot that might be missing and if you want to be 100 percent you could come back on the edging with a q-tip and your alcohol and get these little extra pieces that are on the out, outer edge. That's the only place I would really worry about it. And, and down, I think, let me just, I'm gonna pick it up so I can see. I think we are done. I'm just gonna give the center a good, and I wouldn't keep going over it but just make sure that it's coated. Because once I think you go over it, with, especially with this pen, I'm thinking that it will um, take it off. Now, I was debating whether to try them or not. I did not know Sharp, well, I, I do know, obviously, because I own them. Sharpie carries um, paint pens. I did not, I forgot I had them. So, Maybe my next video, I got these at the dollar store. Um, I will try these, but I know these guys come out amazingly sparkly and that's what I want. So I'm going to bring it back out and oops. Oh, at least it's not that close on my face because that would be awful. There we go. So we're going to lay these down in the center. And I think these are going to be just easy peasy. So I have, I'm going to do two purple and two green because I think the purple would look amazing with the gold and the green. So this one is the lucky green and this one is the galaxy purple. And with the galaxy purple, I'm going to put some of Laura's um, art corner glitter. I'm thinking, I don't know, there's a boysenberry. And these are chameleon as well. I think I might do that one. The boysenberry, I'll put that inside the purple. Because I don't want to go, I was going to put chunky, but then the other one is not chunky. Then with the um, lucky green, we will put in the shifting seas. Oh, like I said to Laura, I wish I could have a vat of that. So with that, I'm going to put you on pause I'm going to go upstairs and get my resin because I need it to um, warm it up and I'll be right back hello we are back I have mixed up eight ounces of resin and as I was mixing I did wear my mask these are where the um, filters are so somebody was questioning whether I was using filters. Yes, this one is a smaller mask. These are the replacement filters and they're right in here. And yeah, I quite enjoy this one. It is um, Trend, it is a stealth. It is Air Stealth half mask filter. So I don't have an issue with it, so but anyways, please wear it as you're mixing, wear your gloves. I have my Dyson Air Purifier on. And when I'm doing my videos, I choose not to wear that so that I can talk to you lovely people. So with that, we are going to mix up our um, paste. I have from Laura's Art Corner. Everything is Laura's Art Corner today. So I'm using my amazing sticks from Crystal Resin. They're on the website. Go take a peek. I am mixing, I mixed up eight. I didn't measure it. I should have, but these are a little bit thicker. So I'm assuming that these here are going to be um, two ounces. So what I'm going to do is, because I hate mixing glitter in this container I have, I'm just going to Pour enough to fill these two and we will go from there all right let's try this this one is per galaxy purple it's probably going to be stiff 
because the glittery ones, and it's in my basement. Oh, this one's not bad. Tend to be a little bit thick because my basement is cold. So I'm taking, oh yeah, that's pretty good. And I'm gonna scrape one side. So there's not a whole lot on there because I'd like it to be um, not see-through. So I'm gonna put that there. We're gonna mix it up, put my lid back on there. I'm excited because I've never had this one. This is the first time using this one. I think the purple will go pretty with the gold. Very regal. Let's try and get this paste all off here. Incorporate it in there. Oh, it sticks to my, oh, I'm off the camera. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, that is beautiful. Look at that color. How rich is that? All right, I'm gonna leave that for one sec. We're gonna come on over to the Kelly. I keep wanting to call it Kelly Green. It is also um, epoxy paste from Lorez, which is from Laura's Art Corner. And this one is Lucky Green. And we did use this one already. This one I used in the, for my leaves and my stems. So I'm gonna take Scraping off the back. I'm gonna scrape. It. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. A little bit there. So there's a substantial on there, but not overly crazy. Put the lid on that. So again, those are both from Laura's Art Corner. All right, give that a stir. Such a pretty color. I'm thinking my sign, guys, I'm thinking this green, that purple, and then like a nice tealy blue marbled with maybe um, some glitter, obviously, into that as well. I'm just gonna give my glove a wipe off. Oh my gosh, I left my wipes open while I was gone. <gasps> All right, here we go. Give that a second or two, just to make sure it incorporates. All right, are you ready? We're gonna get into the glitter. Wow. All right. I'm just going to use my measuring spoon when it comes to, actually, I'll just use a, see that I think will go pretty. I don't know if you can see it. Like, I think that would go nice in there. So we're going to put one heaping, <laughs> oh my goodness, Laura, oh. What did they say? You had me at hello. This is beautiful. Oh my, my. I don't know if you can see it because it's already kind of sparkly on its own, but look at that. That's gorgeous. That is stunning. Alrighty. And on to my favorite. This one is my favorite. Here we go. This one is from Laura's Art Corner too. It's shifting seas. We're just gonna dump it in there. I think that should be good. Give it a stir up. Okay, so we're going to pour two. I'm going to try and get to the edging because 
I don't know if there's a dip in this or not, but we're gonna, oops, where's my cloth? I wanna get keep these off of here if I can. All right, here we go, guys. Whoops. Oh, my goodness. Oops. And scrape all of this loveliness out and in there. Wow, that is so rich. <gasps> I'm excited. Okay. Now let's get the green in there. I'm going to take this out. Oh, trying to make a not a mess and I made a mess. Oh, cheaper sherry. And I've got a little bit left in my container. So I might mix up. Oh, not paying attention. Just dumped it off onto the... I think these are going to be gorgeous. I want to get that off my tray before it, uh, it peels right off anyways. Not like it's a big to do, but it's easier to get it now than later. Let's just whip that off the... And there we go. You know what? Those are pretty much... Those are full. But this one here, I'm just going to do a little clear on the top of it. Oh, I don't know. That might... Where's my stir stick? Let's see. Let's pour this in here, a little bit in here, and let's see what we can do here. Got enough little bit of a pigment that... Let's see. There, that's better. So this does take basically eight. So there's, that was a good guess, mm -hmm. roughly two in each. And these guys are pretty done. Let me just put a little more in that purpley mm -hmm. and I'll divide that up into those. There we go. And then I'm going to give it a shot with my 99% alcohol, which is to burst the bubbles without heating up your molds. These, I think, would be amazing at the end, just as I did with my flour, is to tip them up and make them like a bowl. Because I think that would be cool. Let me see. And I'll put the rest in this one because this one is a little bit under. Perfect. Awesome. I'm excited. All right, now we're going to get some... Oops, let me get started here, guys. There we go. 99% alcohol. Doesn't have to be 99%, even if you've just got, um, like I was using 91, I think, 
is all I could find at that point in time. And it works well as well. Oh, those colors are so beautiful. All right. So with that, we are going to let these guys sit overnight. We will pop them out and hopefully Bob likes them. I don't know if you can see Bob sitting here. So with that being said, guys, I will see you tomorrow with the unveiling. I'm excited to see these. All right. See you in a bit, guys. Hello. We have let them sit. I'm excited to see these ones. All right. <clears throat> Unveil. The back looks so rich. That galaxy purple is gorgeous. Oh, the paint all went on. <gasps> That is gorgeous. And then that purple. Beautiful. Oh. Yep. I would do it that way. That is amazing. That is much easier than painting it and then washing it and then putting a second coat. So we got two purple and, oh my goodness, look at that color. That is gorgeous. And this mold came with the big tray. So we'll have to play with the tray. Here we go. Is it pretty? Oh my goodness. That's gorgeous. That's pretty. That one I could, oh, maybe this one will be the same. I think it might be where I poured the, you can see through my fingers on that one. Remember I poured a little bit of clear. Here we go. Beautiful. That is gorgeous. You know, these would be cute. Also, how I did the flowers. Curved up a little bit. That would be a beautiful bowl. Well, there we go. Those are gorgeous. The colors are amazing. And there's the odd spot where I went over, but you know what? You don't really notice it because it's so busy. Well, there you go, my friends. I hope you enjoyed Friday's video. And I hope you're having, oh, this one's got a lot. I hope you're having um, a good Friday. And yeah, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, please do. And remember to hit the bell for notifications. And when it comes down, hit all so that you get it every time. And yeah, so in my um, description box, I have the link to my Facebook page. I have the link to my Amazon shops. I have the link to Crystal Resin. And I have also the link to the wonderful, the amazing Laura's Art Corner use my discount code, um, all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10%, and you get 10% off your whole purchase. And yeah, my PayPal link is there. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.